Hey, what's up? We're live with that panther with another Path of Exile video, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how we got our Mage Blood. Which Mage Blood? This one. Uh, we got three flasks. Nice. I mean, it's in the middle of the road. I'm actually using three flasks. Could be good. So, first of all, I want to take a second just to apologize for the last video. It wasn't meant to be so clickbaity. It was meant to be a sort of build overview rather than a currency strat explanation. If you wanted a currency strat explanation, this is the video. This is the one. We're only going to talk about currency. So I'm going to update the thumbnail on the last one so that it doesn't seem, uh, it's not trying to be disingenuous. But how do we get this? So we're going to start off with the very, very beginning. So we wake up on the beach like everybody else. And in three hours, I want to get like 40 chaos for my build because there's a few things that are important for the build that I'm playing. Lightning arrow, uh, artillery ballista, moving into tornado shot. So I want Shadows and Dust because it's going to give me Rampage. I want a Taming Ring um, and a few other things. And these cost, you know, around 30C is enough to make this build really, really sing. So in Act 6, as soon as I find a, uh, a Smuggler's Cache, I'm going to go straight to the Rogue Harbor and I'm going to talk to all the rogues, do the first quest, and then I'm going to try and buy Demolition Contracts from Wakano. And that's going to get me the first first couple of chaos and you know get a prism weave or something like that some flat elemental damage lots of resistances and that's going to give us just the boost we need to be able to zoom straight through maps and once we get those few like every time i find a uh every time i level i go back to the rogue harbor pick up more demolition contracts only demolition because demolition contracts have the little question mark chests and those question mark chests drop just chaos orbs all of the time and lots of just basic currency so really really good really early on and in order to make a taming ring you need barracks grip barracks pass and barracks respite and barracks respite is always very pricey it starts off at like 10 chaos and it goes to 30 chaos in about five hours and if you try to make that money getting straight into maps you're not gonna you're not gonna do it um you have to go into heist to do it so just to get it really really quickly and that's for my build then after that we did we do need to complete our atlas as quickly as possible so we went for a wandering path strategy this is nothing out of the ordinary here this is very very normal i think uh the one i actually went with was this tree here uh so we just take as much connected map drop chance as possible getting to 100% we're taking as many map nodes as possible I'm going for shrines as well because I love shrines they're so so strong uh, this atlas is going to be in the description below if you want to see it so this was just for filling out our atlas getting uh, as many favorites as possible done as quickly as possible so if you see here I've actually uh, there's three favorites I don't have I don't have the elder in the shapers realm the uber elder one but I do have the void stone um, our carry fluffed the carry but i felt bad for him so i paid anyway um because we dropped the voice and that's kind of what we were there for rather than the favorite so once you've done your eater and your exarch you got two favorites from those you'll have a, another one from doing a tier 16 map because you can't do eater and exarch without doing a tier 16 map and so you'll have three and on the atlas this time uh mud geezer is a t13 map and when you have two void stones only then it's tier 16. So the first thing we did is we started favoriting mud geezers on our atlas. So as many maps as possible, we'll drop as uh, mud geezers and because mud geezers is a nice open layout and we don't want to do legion. So we immediately spec as much mud geezer favorites as possible. Then after a, a couple of hours, so this is around hour 12, we've got, you know, uh, two watchstones, we've got, uh, a beginning of a map pool we started filling out the atlas completely so getting all of the points getting up to 115 i still haven't done all of the invites um so you can do this without having done any of your invites i have done none of them um i haven't even done the uh tier 14 plus maven one so i think i have 122 points on my atlas but then we're going to do a shaper guard i'm going to do an elder guardian so we get another two favorite slots uh i bought i think i think this one's shaper can you just do this? Oh no, you can't. Um, so I bought Shaper and uh, I think Cortex as well carries just so that we get the favorite slot because once we get to these two other ones, so we bought a Maven and a uh, Uber Elder carry, then we've got 
or four void stones and we can drop any map as tier 16 and obviously we're going with dunes because legion dunes is incredibly strong so uh i'll just put these back on so as soon as we have <clears throat> excuse me all of our uh all of our atlas completion or you know as as near to as much as possible and we've got all four void stones then we're going to favorite dunes as much as possible and we're going to swap into a legion focused atlas passive tree and this one here is what i chose basically we're blocking off everything apart from delirium i actually swapped out of delirium and put heist on instead because i was dying a lot and after i swapped out of delirium i gained three or four levels probably unrelated but um we're blocking everything apart from legion and uh for me now heist uh, i think the heist has taken a bit of a nerf but it's still worth it just as a very very easy way to pick up some stuff on your map uh we're taking as many all of the legion nodes every single one of them except for timeless conflict and except for these ones because you don't want to do generals generals add nothing in particular that's good to the drop pool they don't drop a lot of stuff um sure they have a possibility to drop emblems but they don't really drop much and uh, they take a long time to kill for me at least maybe not for you but for me at least they do so this is what our atlas looks like and we're taking singular focus because we want to only drop dunes and we're taking seventh gate and whilst we're almost exclusively dropping dunes we are we do have one that's favorite is glacier because it's a connected map right here you see here dunes and glacier are connected and the connected map bonus is crazy good it drops a lot i've sold a lot of glacier maps now that they've fixed bulk selling for maps but i've sold a lot of glacier maps i think at least four divines or so uh just in just in glacier maps so the first strategy we started doing was once we've got this atlas tree we're gonna start just when we were doing mud geezer we were just throwing the mud geezer map into the you know chisel and elk uh val if you can chisel an elk and then throw it in the map device and run the map and you're going to generate a lot of currency and eventually you're going to get to the point where you can now start paying on the map device because we're taking seventh gate and we've got to put uh, all of the eldritch gateways on in order to get that i actually uh, skipped out on the uh, expedition after a while because it was a bit rippy um, i might consider putting it back on now i've got maze bud but uh, we spec'd into just doing the free the free legion that you get the natural chance legion and then taking one on the map device so because we've got seventh gate allocated you can just pay six chaos and you get a free legion in your maps and really you're paying six chaos for two so i think of this a lot in sort of the cost per legion so if you just put a map in then you're getting one legion and it's free if you put another if you put a map in and you take this you're getting two legions but you're paying six chaos so it's like three chaos per legion we did this for quite a while and then after a while we upgraded to once we had you know a, a decent base of currency because you definitely sustain the, all the chaos orbs from just doing the legions um aside from all of the other drops that you get but we definitely sustained the chaos and after a while i swapped into using uh rusted legion scarabs they were a bit expensive to be honest they're around uh, eight chaos or seven or eight chaos i was paying i think they're probably around the same oh they're three oh, how about if you have 10 though no. oh they're only 5c now so they're much cheaper now so this is actually an easier strat to do um so i would just put you know one of these in and a map and then take a legion here and the thing is if this is 6c and this is 6c you're paying 12 plus yeah, i count the maps as free but you're paying 12c but you're getting three legions out so it's cost 4c per legion now we did this for quite a while and then eventually we decided we were going to upgrade and we're going to take um this so we get the polished legion scarab these are 12 chaos each 14 i think i paid sometimes most of the time it was 12 though um and we're also you can see here i've got a sextant modifier on our sextants i'm taking uh two i'm taking gloom shrines and i'm also taking legion encounter uh, additional legion encounter now the additional legion encounter we're paying around eight chaos per map for that legion encounter um it's around 36 chaos per uh per sextant so we're chucking that in there we're also taking the nicotex so pack with energy and uh mining byproducts these are both fantastic nodes absolutely fantastic 
packed with energy. Basically, you'll you always use a Nico Sulfite Scarab, or you could use Nico Missions if you have them. I did this for a bit just to save on some money. Um, but for each time you hit one of the Sulfite nodes in your map, then you get uh, like by the end of the map you get forty five percent increased move speed, one hundred and five percent increased damage, and plus three max all res. Insanely good. And when you're doing legions, you want to clear the map then go and uh, loot at the end. It's the most efficient way to do it. Don't loot as you go, clear the map, then loot afterwards. And with this, you have 45% increased move speed to loot faster. So really, really useful. And then this mining byproducts, this means that 10% uh, chance for any time you boop one of the sulfite nodes, that it will in fact give you uh, the same amount in Azurite. And you can go and uh, talk to Nico. I think I've already done this. Uh, I think I may be out of Azurite, but you can just go talk to Nico and he will have for sale lots of these resonators. So you can just go and, oh yeah, we've got some. So you can just buy as many resonators as you have. And these sell for around one for one divine for 70 or 80, something like that. One for 80, one for 74, something like that. So this is a just additional extra uh, money that you can make along the on the side. But this node packed with energy, really, really, really good for making sure that you are more tanky, you survive your maps. Uh, shrines, insanely good, really, really strong. And the Gloom Shrine is the Explody Shrine. It's, it's, uh, it's brilliant for clearing legions, absolutely amazing. So after a while, we moved into using, uh, on every map, I'm using a Polished Legion Scarab, I'm using a Polished Sulfite, because it's the same price as a Rusted Sulfite, but we get more Azurite, so why wouldn't I do that? And then uh, just a couple of Sacrifice Fragments for increased quantity on the map, and then we just put Legion on and go. And I'll show you what this looks like here. Uh, I'll show you how I would normally run these maps. So... Like I said, starting off with just natural legion chance, then moving on to legion on the map device uh, along with the natural chance, then rusted scarab with map device and natural chance. And then finally, this is the sort of the final form uh, that I would uh, suggest you go with. And as you know, I'm not using my maze blood so we can see how, uh, how easy it is for me to die here or for me to clear these legions and See, I, I found the sulfite uh, nodes immediately. So now I've already got 45% increased move speed. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, you can see here I've got a lot of incubators. You get so many incubators from uh, from this as well. I think it, a full set of uh, these uh, diviners incubators, the, the one that drops st stack decks, it drops half a divine worth of stack decks each time it pops. So really, really good, like really great extra money. And the, the ornate ones, uh, which drop just divine orbs. I think around one in three sets, I get a divine orb. Um, the ones that I would pick up for the first two days of the league, Geomancers are the best ones because they drop six links and that's like 60 chaos per six link or something like that. It's insane. If you can find them, use them. But then after that, they drop off real quick. Uh, at this point, I'm not using them at all. They they take a long time to, to pop. But uh, Kalgurin, which is the uh, drops like exotic coins and uh, burial medallions, those are really good. Uh, the diviners ones are really good, and the ornate ones. So that's basically the only ones that I would I would be using now. Uh, so this is the Gloom Shrine. We hit this, and now everything explodes in the little uh, chaos explosions. You can see all these little pops going. These little purple pops are beautiful. Um, so. Now I just go around and I clear the legion like this. And then because I got an inspired learning, I like the, the little headhunter buffs, uh, the headhunter at home buffs. So I go and start the next legion whilst I'm sort of clearing the previous one because it just means I'm going to get more inspired learning buffs, which is going to help me clear more. And you know, you've got to maintain those buffs as well. Um, so this is basically the strategy I was using. Uh, let's just talk about the profits and uh, I'm going to finish clearing this map. All right, so I just finished uh, looting the map and this is what we got. You get such a huge mixed bag. Oh, God, 7% Chaos Res synthesized ring. Uh, it's there's such a huge mixed bag from 
Legion, it's a little bit of everything. You find so much stuff. And if we look here, like my incubators popped for my uh, stack decks, but a, a stack of 10 is worth uh, probably around, oh, it says 15 chaos, but I've been selling mine uh, 195 for one divine. Uh, so this is around, uh, we got, you know, at least uh, 60 here. So it's around two thirds of a divine. Um, you get a lot of incubators. You get a lot of incubators from from Legion. Uh, so, you know, remember to use them. I forget frequently. Um, we got 17 chaos from this map. So I think I would say for the the sextants for the scarabs and for you know the mapping like all the the mats all the supplies the including you know chisel alconval etc um it costs us 30 c per map and we made half of that back in just raw chaos you get a lot of chaos out of this um you get a lot of other stuff you know there's lots of bubblegum currency there's like bits of everything here and there um which is one of the best and worst things about this uh, strategy is that um, Legion means you have to do a lot of sort of anti-quality of life trades. I use, uh, so I use Wealthy Exile to show me how much I've got. Uh, we can see here we've got my four apothecary cards from uh, 44 minutes ago, but now if we sync it, uh, now my, yeah, my <laughs> it's dropped uh, precipitously. But you get a little bit of everything. So I've got like a, a currency tab that's got some stuff in. Maybe my uh, my essences tab has got uh, around one and a bit divines in it. I, I, I sold all my uh, Dell stuff. So every so often I will uh, use something like POE stack and I will, uh, you know, sell a, a tab, uh, one of the premium tabs. So this is the, the essence one. So all my essences are sold yesterday. Um, so when it gets to around five divines, then I'll I'll just post it on TFT and uh, it will sell fairly you know fairly quickly. Um, but you get, I would honestly say around half a divine in profit per map, and for you know side strategies as well. There's obviously things like uh, leveling gems in your offhand. I'm leveling precisions at the moment because. Uh, on PV Ninja, those are the 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 I think the the most expensive ones for me to you know, be able to corrupt. So you just go here, put twenty one and uh, quality normal and type normal, and then if you're playing a you know a, an intelligence based character, just take the the top one with uh, intelligence based. So probably malevolence and a, a twenty one malevolence is going to be sixty C. Uh, for me, it's precision. They're going to be 77 right now. So I'm just leveling some precisions in my offhand. If you can get a Maloney's, then do. Because, you know, with this, you can have 50% uh, you know, more gems you can level in your offhand. Pretty pretty useful. Um, but that's it. Oh, and also don't forget your trinket as well. You no longer have to go and run a heist for these to get the trinket slot. Because with a trinket slot, you can put on some more incubators. So you can put, you know, one on each of your gear pieces. And then you can put one on your trinket as well. So you get an extra gear piece that you can put a, a trinket on. You just need to buy a trinket off of trade and it will unlock this slot now. Huge quality of life increase. I went the entire last league without having a trinket slot because I just didn't want to run a heist. So really useful to know now. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope this was useful. I'm going to put the, the trees in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please just swing by the, the stream. We're live every day on twitch.tv slash life of that pants. Or just chuck them in the comments below. Um, I hope you have a really good day. Uh, I hope you are kind to everyone you meet. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.